Hello Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me again. So as always, before we get started, we're going to take a look at your oracle cards. And this week, Aquarius, from Lay Vampire, you pulled Love Conquers All, Enduring Loyalty, Eternal Love, and Lasting Commitment. And then from Chakra Wisdom, you pulled Perseverance. Now, Love Conquers All is really telling you to put that emotion first in your life. It's saying to give it a place of honor in your work, your home. Love is all there is. But when you look at that with perseverance, I think some of you are having some difficulty doing that. And what I like here with this card is the card at a glance. It says, this card refers to movement and true feelings. Focus on that which supports you. You may have a heightened emotional state and this card can inspire or discourage. You're being offered a new way of getting something back on track. Perseverance for me is one of those cards that really describes people who are not seeing the law of attraction working in their life and they just give up. And what this card is saying is that when you do that, you upset the universal balance. And what better way to manifest what you're wanting than to put love first in your heart. But for some of you, it may be difficult to see. All right, Aquarius, here's the energy coming through the four of pentacles. So trying to maintain immediately is the feeling, especially with perseverance showing up. The four of pentacles is suggesting that there is financial stability, but there is a part of you here that is not willing to give anything up. And, you know, again, for me, when I see this card, it's like, what are you hanging on to? But it, it being the signifier is talking about you hanging on to what is important to you. Even if you just have a little bit, it's enough. And it's not something that you're willing to share. And in the past, the Nine of Pentacles. So it's suggesting that in the past you have, you have financial security and there's this feeling of self-reliance with the Nine of Pentacles. There's also that part too where you're enjoying the finer things in life. But really, I'm seeing this as you. You are responsible for creating your own security in your life and you're working hard at it and you're seeing results, but there's a part of you that's like blocked off from everything else because you're not wanting to lose this, which is understandable, especially if you work toward this. And in the present, you got a lot of pentacle energy going on here. So for some of you, your finances seem to be the focus. Seeing the Knight of Pentacles is talking about slow movement. And some of you may be putting down some plans right now to really create and maintain that security in your life. The Knight of Pentacles is that slow energy though. You know, and I think for some of you, it may be difficult not seeing the results immediately. But here, this is, these are overall not bad. I mean, financially, it's suggesting that you're doing fantastic. And for some of you, you'll be hearing fantastic news in regards to your finances as well. But you're pulling on this feeling of being self-reliant, being able to do things on your own and not really needing help from anybody else especially with the four of pentacles being there. Future conditions, the Hierophant. Wow. <laughs> so for some of you, this is really talking about you going back to school. I see this more as the higher education than like the page of pentacles. The both of them, absolutely. But the Hierophant though more is about spiritual understanding and doing things in the traditional way. For some of you, this is talking about, and I think for some of you, it has to do with a loan and hearing like really good news about a loan. It's just going to take some time with that Knight of Pentacles, but seeing the Hierophant there, getting a higher understanding. And then not only that, but there is like a mentor here as well. For some of you, you may have somebody coming through that is giving you not only spiritual guidance, but maybe giving you some guidance in your finances as well. But there is a part of you here where this is all you. This is what you're doing. You are main maintaining your own life and you're putting your own plans into actions here. But I like seeing the Hierophant. The best path to follow, the Eight of Wands. So here's the thing. Seeing that as the best path to follow is saying that you will know when the right time is for you to take action. Especially if things seem like they're slow moving and slow paced right now. I feel like with the Hierophant, you're trying to get somewhere here, especially if some of you are looking at going back to school. When you look at the Eight of Wands, it's fast energy. This is fast moving energy. It's like 
striking while the iron is hot, basically, right? And the other thing too here is communication. And again, you know, somebody may be coming through and giving you some really good advice when it comes to your long-term security. But the Eight of Wands is really saying that it's time for you to take advantage of the energies that are going to be happening around you. I think right now you're seeing it as slow moving, but it's going to go by quicker than I think most of you realize. I like seeing it. And I think for some of you, you're going to get the communication that you're wanting to hear, whether it's, you know, some of you asking for a loan or waiting to hear about being accepted to college even. I think that the information that's going to come through is be, going to be really good. It's going to be in your favor for sure, for sure. And your environment, the Five of Cups. And, and here's the thing. You know, seeing that in your environment and what's going on with the Knight of Pentacles and then perseverance, I really think that some of you are having difficulty seeing past the things that you may have lost before. The Five of Cups sucks. Emotional pain is hard to deal with. And sometimes it's hard for us to see a way out of it and start taking action to correct these issues. But I feel like that's what you start doing here. But seeing it in your environment is suggesting that you're still focused on what's already gone, you know, and the advice is that not all is lost, right? But when you're dealing with that kind of emotional pain, it can be almost impossible to see. And again, it goes back to perseverance. You can't give up on the things that you're wanting here, especially if you're willing to put down some practical planning here. The Four of Pentacles, again, it's suggesting that you, this is you, this is what you're doing for you here. You may have somebody on the outside that may be offering you this education or this loan, but it's because of your actions in the past that's leading you into a spot now where there's going to be some financial stability for you. But I think some of you are dealing with some emotional pain that may be blocking you from seeing the good from the actions that you take. You know, I kind of get the feeling here that some of you may be starting over because seeing the Nine of Pentacles as a past coming through is talking about, you know, that self-reliance, but having that financial stability. But when you're reverting back to the four and seeing the five in your environment, I think some of you may have experienced a loss and it may be financial, it may be emotional, but you're starting over is what it feels like. In your environment and there you are there you are the king of swords or i'm sorry this is your hopes and fears seeing this there above the five of cups is you know and here here's the thing I'm, I'm looking at it with it being connected with your environment because the king of swords does not allow his emotions to cloud his judgment here and i think some of you are having difficulties when it comes to that this emotional pain is affecting the way that you are thinking and the way that you're communicating. But I think things are going to start changing for you. It's just, you know, if you let this block you, you're not going to hear the good news. It's like, it's going to come to you, but you're not going to be hearing it because you're too focused on the emotional pain. But seeing the King of Swords in your hopes and fears is talking about you getting back to who you are, being that fantastic communicator, being sharp-minded, being able to make judgments clearly without having your emotions affect the decisions that you make. I just think for some of you, it's gonna be difficult. And then the outcome, the Ten of Wands. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you Aquarius, for some of you, there may be a lot of different things going on in your life right now. You may be trying to get some financial stability. Some of you are looking at a different job. Some of you are looking at going back to school. And some of you are getting overwhelmed by all these different things that you're trying to maintain in your life. You know, and, and I'm seeing them as positive. You know, it's not like the Two of Pentacles is showing up here. There is a chance for you to have that kind of stability here because the fours, that's where you start to see the stable foundation. This is suggest suggesting stability in financial situations. But again, seeing the Hierophant, I think some of you are waiting to hear back on something that you're planning on doing, but your emotions are affecting you. And there's a need to go back to being that clear-cut communicator so that you don't feel overwhelmed. 
by the fact that maybe your plans aren't working out the way that you expected them to. It's almost like, you know, I'm putting forth the effort. Why the hell aren't these things happening? And it's because your focus is here. And again, going back to perseverance, it's like right there. It's right there. It's just that for some of you, you may not be seeing it because your emotions are affecting you. Now, in some cases, some of you may be dealing with a king of swords. For those of you who are dealing with another air sign or just somebody who may be making you feel bad emotionally, it's going to be overwhelming on top of all the other things that you are trying to do for you. But with the Ten of Wands as your outcome, it, it is the ending of a cycle. The problem here is, is you can't get overwhelmed by all the different things that are happening for you. You know, you have to drop that load so that you can go into that Ace of Wands and you start to see new growth and new creativity in your life. But for some of you, emotionally, you may be overwhelmed. But I think that some of you are going to hear some really fantastic news. It's just you have to be careful about, you know, and if you've dealt with difficulties and it's hard for you to see past them, it's understandable. But, you know, again, the message there is you can't let your emotions affect the way that you're thinking about your own plans for your own future. All right, Aquarius, we're going to take a look at soul trees to see what other messages there are for you guys. But I'm looking at this reading and I have this feeling of you've lost the feeling of self-reliance, but you're working toward getting it back. It's just, I think for some of you, you may not be hearing what you want to hear or seeing what you want to see soon enough. You know, the Eight of Wands being in your best path to follow is saying it's going to start moving fast here. But you have to be careful about getting this communication but not really hearing it right because your emotions are affecting you and it's going to be overwhelming. And again, for some of you, it may have to do with another air sign, but an initiative. And that is so important. I always tell people all the time at work that y you have to take the initiative when it comes to doing things. If you start, if you're expecting to see the results that you're wanting, if you're wanting people to recognize you for doing something, you have to take initiative. And again, it's up to you and the actions that you take to create stability. Trust is saying to trust in what is happening. If you lay down the plans and you start putting them into action here with initiative, trust that the universe will respond. I just think for, some of you are having a hard time seeing it. Integration. Integration for me, there's two sides to this. First, this card specifically has to do with integrating the mind, the body, and the spirit and getting all three of these working together. The other part, too, is you integrating yourself into new situations with new people. But overall here, I feel like you need to trust that if you continue working toward the things that you want, they will show up. But you need to take an initiative here and start working toward these plans and trust that it's going to start to unfold the way that you're wanting it to. Oh, wow. Religious factors. <laughs> Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So for some of you, if you're meeting somebody new, religion is going to play a part into this. And I don't see this as a negative thing. I just think for some of you, it's going to be eye opening for you to see and meet somebody who has very different views on religion. Whew. Okay, so wedding. This situation involves marriage. A lot of you are taking your relationship to the next level, and congratulations. For some of you, it might actually be a, wed a wedding, which is fantastic. But when you look at deception, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. It's important here, and I don't see this as anybody trying to purposely deceive you. I just think that when I look at this card, I see two people who are wearing a mask. They're both wearing a mask and they're not being honest with each other about who they are. There's a need here for you to take initiative when it comes to taking this mask off so that the other person feels comfortable in revealing themselves as well. And you want to be careful because you don't want to be marrying something, somebody that you don't really know. But if you do it first and take that mask off and really show who you are, that person is either going to stay with you or 
they're going to go. It's one or the other. But I don't think that this is you trying to deceive anybody. I just think that for some of you who are in a relationship, the both of you are not really revealing your, yourselves right now. And when you're looking at that with a wedding coming up, that's not a good thing. Start being open with your partner. Overall here, Aquarius, you know, even seeing the Ten of Wands is the outcome for this. You know, it's the ending of this kind of cycle for you, but it's going to be through your own actions here. But again, with perseverance, don't ever give up on the things that you're wanting. You may not be seeing it right now, but as long as you continue to work toward these plans that you're setting down for yourself, you will see the results that you're expecting. Okay, Aquarius, so I'm looking at this reading and I'm seeing that some of you may have lost your freedom or your own stability. It's like where you come in feeling self-reliant, there may have been a loss here, which is explaining why, you know, the Four of Pentacles is the overall energy here, where you're trying to get some stability in your life and stability with your finances as well. And I think some of you are waiting to hear news on a loan or acceptance to going back to school, which is the two big things I see here with the Hierophant. It's just that there may be a little bit of waiting that's happening and you need to be careful about your emotions clouding your judgment here. There's a need for you to go back to being that clear cut communicator and clear thinker and not letting your emotions affect you. And I think what happens is, is that your emotions get the best of you and things become overwhelming. And I think it's because it's going to be a little bit before you hear this news but with the Eight of Wands here being in your best path to follow, I really do think that you are going to get some really good news, especially for those of you who have put in for a loan or waiting to hear acceptance. The other thing, though, here, too, is initiative. It's so important to take initiative when it comes to changing your circumstances. You can't just sit back and expect things to change if you're not willing to put in the action here. But then the other thing is, is there is a need for you to trust that when you start laying down those plans and taking action, that the things that you want will manifest. Because perseverance is saying that you're not seeing it and you're wanting to give up. And this card is saying, don't do that. And I think that the Eight of Wands is saying the same thing. When you look at Love Conquers All and Integration, these two are really speaking about mind, body, and spirit going in the same direction for you. And that's going to be what's important when it comes to getting over being overwhelmed by all the different things that may be going on. And what you're wanting to do is just get your own stability back in place. The other thing is, for some of you, I think that there may be a case here where you're dealing with another air sign or just a king of swords in general that may be feeling, making you feel really bad emotionally. And I'm telling you, I've had difficulty communicating what I wanted to say throughout this entire reading and how it's happening in the afterthought. It is so important for you, Aquarius, to get back to who you are. Being that clear communicator, being smart. Don't let anybody overwhelm you. And don't get overwhelmed by all the different things that you may be having to do right now to get your own stability back in place. Because, you know, this is the ending of a cycle. And there's a need here for you to release that load so you can go back into that Ace of Wands and experience that new growth in your life. But I really do think that some of you are waiting to hear news. And I think you're going to get the news that you're wanting. It's not going to be bad news and you need to trust that these things are going to unfold the way that you're wanting them to. Now, when it comes to love, this is interesting. Religious factors. Some of you may be meeting somebody that has very different religious views than your own. And it may affect the relationship and it may not. But really that depends on you and how you see the way that they act when it comes to their own faith. Now, for those of you who are in a relationship, these two... Wedding and deception. My warning here is if you're looking to take the relationship to the next level, you have to be careful here about marrying somebody that you may not know or marrying somebody who doesn't know you. Deception for me goes both ways. It doesn't necessarily mean that somebody is trying to deceive you. It's just saying that they're not revealing all of themselves, but neither are you here because the two people are wearing the mask. So be careful here if you're looking to take the relationship to the wedding level that you're marrying somebody who knows you and who you know. 
overall Aquarius, I think that this is going to come to an end for you. Things are going to start changing, but it's going to be through you taking initiative here and going along with the changes that need to happen and taking that action. But when it comes to those of you who are waiting for news, I really do think that you're going to hear some really positive news here and things may start turning around for you to where you can start feeling that self-reliance again.